Hey there guys, a uh, quick update before I start the next video. We're going to be changing our schedule a bit. Face reviews. Oops. Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, face reviews right here. Wait, why is it not working? Face reviews will be moved over to Wednesday. And then Wednesday will no longer be on, on versus champion, obviously. And Tuesday will no longer be base reviews. Instead, Tuesday will now become... Uh, Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Alright. So, uh, in case you didn't get it. In case you didn't catch that. Uh, basically, I just need to switch some things around because Honor to Champion takes too long. So, this... Where is my pencil? This... Oh, okay. This is now no longer Honor to Champion. It is our base reviews from Tuesday. So this is now base reviews. Okay, base reviews. No. Okay. No base reviews is not crossed out. <laughs> Oops. All right. Uh, there we go. Base reviews, tips and tricks Tuesday. Right. That's just the quick update. And now, let's cut to the intro. <laughs> Hello there guys, Wizipedia here, and today we are going to be doing some tips and tricks. So uh, I figured since we had also just kind of just started out over here, I figured I'd do like a basics video, if that makes any sense. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay. So basically, uh, Crossing Clans is where you're like the owner of the village, right here. And you can change whatever you want about it. You can move everything around, and uh, basically, you can attack other people, like actual people. Here, like, you know, for the replay. And also, other people actually can attack you. Now, uh, basically, if you want to attack, it there are two types of currents in this game. There's Elixir, the pink stuff, and Gold, the uh, yellow stuff. Um, gold helps you with your defenses, and that's how you upgrade them, buy them and stuff. And then Elixir is how you upgrade and buy your uh, offensive stuff. So, let's start with offense, that's a bit easier. You have your basic thing, the barracks, that is where you train up all your guys. Uh, basically, this is their icon, and then you have how much they cost right here. The little eye up here gives you a bit of a statistic about them. Like this one, damage type, single target, so that means it attacks one target at a time. Um, it targets only ground targets, so if there's like a flying troop, which comes out of the plane castle, which uh, basically you can have people can cross troops, and then it'll come up here. And then if somebody sees that, they can donate to you, like this. You know, just double up the person, whatever you want. I'm gonna actually have somebody else donate that to me, because on to the next thing, basically, in, attack, in your attack, you have something called a laboratory. Which basically allows you to upgrade your troops to make them stronger, have higher attack, higher health, and stuff. And it also changes the uh, look of them, which is a bit too complicated for this, but I'll put that in a later video. And then after you train up your troops in the barracks, they walk over from the barracks to the closest army camp that is not full yet. Because different people actually have, like, they take up different amounts of room. See what, like, right here, the actor's is about to walk out, right there. Okay. So basically, uh, there are a couple different types of troops. You have barbarians, which is uh, the simple melee troop. You have archers, the simple ranged troop that can shoot over walls and stuff. Goblins, uh, they go for loot. Giants, they go for defenses. Wall breakers, break walls for you. Balloons, go for defenses. Wizards, anything. Healers, heal people. Dragons, go for anything. And peckers, go for anything. I believe. Yep. Now with balloons. Healers and dragons, they all fly and flying troops, uh, they have different, they work a bit differently. For example, mortars, only attacking ground troops cannot attack mortars. This is, sorry, going to defenses. Cannons cannot attack mortars. Archers can attack mortars. And also, if we jump down over here to my other base. Archer tower. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Okay. Archer, um, not Archer, air defenses can also attack. They can only attack them, and they actually deal a lot of damage per hit. At least that's what they're kind of made for. 
you know. Now, ev everything in the game can be upgraded and moved to just about anywhere you like. You can move it to any block, you can't move like between blocks, but it's, it's all very customizable. You can make your base however you want with this limited amount of room. Now, when you start, there are a bunch of, uh, what are they called, obstacles here. And you have to slowly clear them away, and actually they slowly grow back as well, which is kind of annoying in my opinion. But yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be. And then also, uh, let's see, these are storages that stole your money. And then this money can either be get got from your elixir collectors in gold mines, which um, gets you gold, gets your elixir, or you can attack to get some loot right here. And when you get attacked, people can also take your loot as well. Now there's also trophies up here. Trophies are basically, that's the level of people that you can attack. That's basically how they determine your level. Now you can actually drop trophies if you want to find weaker people, or go up if you want to find harder people. Now, uh, when you attack somebody, like for example, uh, this one, this guy attacked me. He defeated me because, alright, so here's how... Uh, you get stars, which is basically how much you defeat, and that's the, how much you get trophies. Because there's a max trophies amount you can get, and then there's, uh, there's what's called, there's the, uh, there's also the map if you lose, how many trophies you lose. There aren't really different ways to lose, if you lose, you lose. But if you get one star, you get a quarter of the trophies rounded down. If you get two stars, you get half the trophies rounded down. And if you win, you get all the trophies, which won't be rounded. Now, over here, he is currently attacking me now. Uh, the right percentage, everything is worth the same percent. Health doesn't matter, loot doesn't matter, nothing matters, it's all the same percent. <laughs> now, um, the percentage is also rounded to the nearest number. It's, there's not going to be like 32.6, because that's just way too complicated. And, uh, yeah, so here you can see the giants are targeting defenses. So we got the arch tower and the mortar out. Mortar also deals splash defense, so does the wizard tower. Everything else deals uh, normal with the single target. Um, alright, so that's, come on. There we go. Now two giants left. Now also, uh, these cannons, they go for whatever's closest. So in this case, it's the giants are also acting as a meat shield. Oh man, this, they might actually... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And now, uh, over here, here's the uh, barbarians going to whatever's the closest. Now when you place down a guy, they have a 13 block search radius, which means that's how far that they actually search for things they can attack. So, you can actually like, sort of propel your troops toward whatever you want to. It's a bit tactical, but it's doable nonetheless. Now, over here, uh, my cannon's starting to get a bit low. Let's see, uh, does it happen? No. Now, um, later on, if you have way too, if there's like, I don't know what the max is, but if there's a lot of um, guys all on one thing, some of them will kind of just go on to the next thing, because uh, the AI actually feels there's no need for that. Alright, so basically it just gets overwhelmed because if the mortar was st were still here, it would be dead. That's why I have the mortar in the middle because the mortar is actually sort of OP. Alright, okay. So uh, towards the beginning, here's how it works actually. If somebody has more trophies than you, like this guy, Silver 3, has more trophies. So I actually didn't lose that much trophies, but if he's like equal to you, like, or she. Okay, let me collect this real quick. See, right now I'm getting some money. Now, the reason this is right is because my uh, soldiers are full. So now let's go over to here. Okay, okay so this guy, uh, actually he doesn't have him, but he's at my trophy range. So we're going to go through everything real quick here. Once again, these are the goblins coming in over here. They are going for the loot. Which for this guy, uh, I don't know if you saw, but... I don't know if you saw, but all the loot was all in his mines and collectors because he was inactive, basically meaning he hasn't played in a while. This is the laboratory. Now, when you upgrade things, they actually look different. Like, if you could have noticed, there's actually a golden ring around here. Uh, these walls also change colors. Everything changes as you upgrade. Now, as you hear, the archers. That archer was just shooting over the wall. I kind of just surrendered because I knew. Actually, oh, I could have got that. Oh, wow, I'm just trying to save some time. Alright, so, uh, well, if you have any questions, you can actually put them down there right now, I'll probably just reply, and then also save my next video. Alright, so, clans. You can join a clan of any type, so let's just look up this. BJH. Oh, wow, there's actually something called BJH. 
Now, so basically, you can go to a clan and you can join. But obviously, I'm learning a clan. Now, there are also like top clans. Like the top clans, some clans you have to be invited. Like you, you ask to go in, and they choose whether or not you get to go in. Like so, if I were to go and use this guy to try to get into one of the top clans, they would reject me because this is way too weak to go into their clan. So they just completely reject me, which is uh, kind of acceptable because you know they're way ahead of me. Well, at least this base. Uh, let's see. There's also some that are closed, and the max for a clan is 50 people. Now, with a clan, you can have any kind of these symbols. Uh, so, like here, anyone can join and rent only clothes. You can also change how many trophies they can they need to have at least. So, like if you put this up really, really high, like if I say the max is I believe, yeah 360. You set it to this, and then you put it to invite only. This will make it so that if they have less than 360 trophies, they won't even be able to send an invite. I have it at zero because any of you guys can join here. Remember, it's Wizipedia. Um, let's see what else is there. Obstacles are uh, rocks and stuff. Those are all gold, natural things like trees and trunks. That is all uh, ultra. So, like, uh, for example, uh, these walls can get through right now. But since I only have two builders which are these two builder huts here they um they build stuff for you and depending on how many builder huts that's the match you have you're probably wondering how do i get more builder huts well uh builder huts are actually bought with the premium currency gems which you can get from clearing things or from the occasional gem box let's see if we can find a gem box here. um because if you find a gem box you can clear that with the builder and you get automatic food gems no. Now see, even after you clear everything, stuff still spawns over in front of this trunk. Now, as you can see here, I have a builder hut. Builder, uh, I have a builder's hut over here. So basically, after they attack everything here, they'll have to all walk over here. Let's take that too. Now, obviously, as you can see, this is a much further leveled up base. Uh, it's obviously bigger for one. Uh, these walls are much higher level. These are spring traps, which basically if um, an enemy Troop walks over them, they go flying. Bombs deal a low amount of damage, and then giant bombs deal a high amount of damage. And this circle is the attack rate activation radius. This is a hidden Tesla. Well, um, this is also a trap. Now, if you click on anything, they actually have a range. But the mortar, this red range is where it can attack. Because the mortar won't be able to fly over there to put close to fires over there. Which is why our melee troops can actually get in here and just be able to attack it without being hit. A ranged troop on the other hand uh, can actually will be outside of it most of the time. Now also uh, yeah I think that's actually pretty much it. Um, Let me see. Well I guess we can do a quick raid here. We're gonna go to I believe this guy. Now this these are revengers. After somebody attacks you you can actually Revenge them if you feel the need to. Like this guy here, he's got a bunch of loot in here, so that loot is about to become mine. Because I can just revenge him and take some of his loot away, which would be nice. So let's come over here. Let's go to. Pretty sure it was Dougie. Dougie! Alright, so let's go ahead and raid Dougie. How much loot can you get us all up here? Most of the loot is in this one, I already checked. Because as you can see, these are both full. And this one actually has a bit more storage capacity in there so I'm gonna toss down a couple of these wait for the motor to go off all right, all right. and now I can just go ahead and my barbarians and my archers now over here we do a similar thing oh shoot hmm. no okay all right go ahead and just take the rest of the loot here the one thing I'm worried about is that mortar, but I can continually distract it. There we go. It's been distracted. Alright. Okay, that can just get taken out. There we go. So now I can... What? Fine. Oh well, that's fine. Now obviously I did not get enough percentage to win this one. So I'll lose six trophies, which is fine by me. Because I got a lot of money out of that guy. Thank you. 24k. Now, if there's storages, you can only hold as much as your storages can hold, so the rest of it, 
Like, uh, I, I grabbed some elixir from that guy, but I could not hold that much, so I kind of just, quote-unquote, disappeared. After you raid somebody once, you can no longer raid them. Now, over here, you can hold down troops to train them, and you can hold down them to also get rid of them up here. Now, this is the max amount you can train, and, uh, if you have a level 6, like, a level... So, if the level of the barracks and the army camp are the same... Like, say this army camp is level 2. If I had a level 2 barracks, it would be able to hold as much as that one army camp can hold. Which is different from the total that it says. Like, down there, I don't know if you saw, but it says um, 40, 60, I believe, is my max. So, uh, basically, that means that since I have two army camps, each army camp can hold up to 30 guys. Well, troops, because see, giants take 5, and they're all different. Wall breakers, 2. Uh, balloons five, wizards four. These guys, I think, are fourteen healers. Yep. Wait, no, fourteen or sixteen. Fourteen. All right. Uh, these guys are twenty dragons. Hackers are uh twenty-five. Now, the further you get this, like each level, you get the next guy. You know, so an extra five training space increment. And now, with uh your army camps, you also get five per. And basically. The entire point of the game is build, upgrade, conquer. I guess you can say. Well, uh, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's Wizipedia here, where I do all the old reanalyzing, so you won't have to. Signing off. <laughs>